Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be going through my January book reviews. So these are going to be all the books that I reviewed on Chick Club Plus in the month of January. I have recently posted the January book favorites video and that is all of the five star books that Chick Club Plus reviewed in January, both for myself and my review team. So I will leave that one linked below as well because some of these reviews I won't go in depth in this video because I did in the January favorites video. So that will be linked in the description box below. But yeah, if you are interested in hearing what I read in the month of January, please keep watching. It's going to be kind of tough to film because I'm filming it with legit my laptop in my lap because of course our Surface doesn't work right now. I swear I say this in every video that I need the Surface for, which is usually any like book review type video so I can read like the blurbs and stuff for you guys. It never works. It just never works in general. I keep telling my husband, I was like, I just want to get rid of it. I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. So I literally have my gigantic, I have one of the laptops with like a huge screen that is sitting in my lap right now. So I can have some help when I'm doing this. So this should be interesting. The book that I read and reviewed in January is The View from Prince Street. This is by Mary Ellen Taylor. This is a part of her Alexandria series. And I have read from that series before, so when Chiclet Plus was asked to review this book, I decided to take it on. Um, At the Corner of King Street is the one that I have read from the Alexandria series, and I really liked it because it's one of those books, or the series, it's featured both in the past and the present, and those are some of my favorite books to read. Um, so we kind of get to go back and forth and see glimpses into the past, which I really enjoy. I will say I did enjoy At the Corner of King Street quite a bit. The view from Prince Street, not quite as much. It seemed to start off a little bit slower to me, and for some reason, like legit, it took me a couple chapters to realize we were getting dual point of views, and I don't know why the characters seemed to like merge together for me, but it was after a few chapters that I was like, wait a second, I thought her job was this, and then I realized we were moving back and forth between characters in the chapters. Like, whoa. So I don't know, that, that aspect kind of like threw me off a little bit too, but I stuck with it and I'm glad that I did because I did end up enjoying it. There's there's a little bit of like a mystery aspect in there as well with a death that both characters that were getting point of views from, they are impacted by this death and a little, little bit of like mystery surrounding it and the ending was pretty interesting to read. Also the views from the past that we're getting I thought were super fun to read about because it kind of deals with like witches, witchcraft, and I'm really interested in that sort of thing as well. Big Charmed fan right here. Yes, indeed. But I'm glad I stuck with it even though the beginning was a little bit slower to me. I, I am glad because I ended up enjoying it quite a bit and I give it four stars. So that's The View from Prince Street. Another one that I read and reviewed is The Fling Thing and this is by Maggie LePage. I have also read from Maggie LePage in the past and she came out with what she called a Christmas quickie. And so, of course, I wanted to read that because I did enjoy her books that I have read. And so this was just like a quick little Christmas novella. I tried to review it as close to Christmas as I could. My review went up January 6th. But it, it definitely is exactly what it says. It's a Christmas quickie. So it's a novella. But I feel like she did a really fun job of describing it because it definitely is more on the mature side. You need to be a little bit older to read this book because it does have quite a few steamy scenes in there. I ended up really, really liking this and I did give it a four star review. And sometimes novellas are kind of like hit or miss for me, but this one I thought was super funny because I didn't find it to be very like cliched. Like sometimes holiday novellas can be like, this one just had me laughing, I enjoyed it. The ending I didn't see coming because I expected more of a cliche, but I was like, yes, this was a good one one that I read and reviewed is You'll Find Me in Manhattan and this is by Jill Knapp. This is the final book in the series and I believe I have read the other two as well and reviewed them on Chiclet Plus so I was excited to read this and it just has such a good Chiclet feel to it I think especially because it's set in New York and for some reason like New York just equals Chiclet books to me. I don't know why that is but I enjoyed it. Uh, I do recommend reading the series if you are going to pick this one up because it kind of took me a few chapters to get back in the swing of things, remember the characters, remember where we left off. You know, um, one thing that I think I should have done was probably gone back and read my review 
of the first two books because that could kind of help me get into the third, but it is a series that I recommend, but I would recommend getting all the books and then reading them in order. But this one, I, I really like the aspects of friendship in this book, and I actually, I mentioned this in my review, but I took a picture of my Kindle at one point and I posted the picture on Instagram because there was a quote in there about friendship that just really like resonated with me and I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, definitely a good one. I gave it a four star review. One that I gave five stars to is How to Look Happy by Stacey Weedauer. So be sure to check my January favorites video because if you like chick lit, this is a really good one for you. And another one that I gave five stars to is Novelista Girl and this is by Mare the Shore. Another really great chiclet one if you are a book blogger. I think you would really enjoy these books from Meredith. And then even if you are an author and a book blogger or you have some sort of connection between the two, these are definitely good books for you. So again, January book favorites. Linked below. I wonder if you guys can see the laptop in my lap. I don't have a viewfinder, so I have no idea what you guys are looking at. But just kind of wonder if you can see this giant laptop sitting in my lap right now. By surface. I just want to get rid of it. Another one I read and reviewed is Match Me, Match Me If You Can, and this is by Michelle Gorman. Um, I've mentioned Michelle quite a bit on my channel. She puts she puts out books at a very quick pace. I'm very jealous of how she does it. Match Me If You Can. Michelle Gorman is a big chiclet writer, and she is a UK writer. So sometimes it's kind of fun reading the books and like seeing the different language and even things like different foods and things that are mentioned in there. So that's kind of fun to read, but just a heads up because sometimes it can also kind of take me back a minute. But also when I read UK books, I find myself like talking like them. Like I start using the word bloody quite a bit. Like, oh, it's a bloody bad day. You know, anyone else do that? It's kind of weird, especially if I read like several UK books in a row. Well, <laughs> you better just get out of town. I did enjoy it. I gave it four stars. But again, this was one where like the beginning, I just was like struggling to get into the groove with it, you know what I mean? And I mentioned in my review that I think maybe there's like very short section breaks, like the content is broken up by section breaks quite a bit and by chapter breaks. And I'm one, I just mentioned this in my reading habit tag, but like when I get to a section break or a chapter break, I can, I feel okay to put the Kindle down. And I felt like maybe I kept putting it down because the section breaks were so fast, like we get one page of content and then there would be a break and I don't know, I think maybe that kind of like kept taking me out of the element of the book. You know what I'm saying? I'm using my hands quite a bit. Um, but I'm glad that I stuck with it and kept reading because it was very cute. It was very chick lit. It was something that I very much enjoy. And it basically follows three friends kind of looking for love. There's like a dating website involved and it involves ex-boyfriends. I don't want to say too much because there was a twist towards the end that I was like, I honestly didn't see that one coming, but I enjoyed it. So that is Match Me If You Can. I feel like I read quite a bit in January, but another review I have is Wild Games. This is by Mila Rossi. And this was another novella and more on the steamier side as well. I will warn you of that. It's set in the rainforest of Costa Rica. And it definitely is a romance between two of the characters. And at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to be the one to review it because the cover was very much like a romance cover. And I'm not like a straight romance girl and much more of the chiclet type. But the cover kind of gave me like a Jane and Tarzan feel. And I was like, I don't know if this is going to be the best fit for me. But I actually ended up really enjoying it. It's very fast paced. Um, very easy to be engaged with. There's a lot going on in it and it's fun that it's set in the rainforest of Costa Rica. Like I felt like I was learning stuff along with the characters. So that is Wild Games and I gave it four stars. Another one that I mentioned in my January favorites is Killing Me Softly and this is by Catherine R. Beale. This is a book that featured a little bit of magical realism so if you are into that I would suggest checking this out in my January favorites video. Another one in the favorites, I also mentioned in my favorites video that like January was just a super good month for me. I usually have like one or two in the favorites videos and the rest are from my review team. And I had so many in this review video, like January was my month. But another one I gave five stars to is The Juggling Act and this is by Carol Maloney Scott. It's again a part of a series, a series that I definitely would recommend. I've read the books in it and I enjoyed them all. So yeah, five stars to The Juggling Act. The last one I have is The X's in My Glass, and this is by Lisa M. Matson. And this is a 
memoir and I really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure it would be for me, but after I read the synopsis, because I don't read a lot of memoirs, but you can tell it's definitely the memoir that I said in my haul video, that it reminded me of Dangle Carrot by Hilary Grossman, where like it's a memoir but it reads like a chiclet novel. And that's something that I enjoy and I'm really glad that I did pick it up. Each chapter is basically focused on a man that Lisa is dating and what she happens to be drinking at this time, Lisa in real life. She works in the wine industry and so it was interesting to read like how she started, how she got out of a bad situation, where she moved to next, what she got involved in there and like see her grow, grow up, the different loves that she finds. Like it was just very interesting to read and the ending I thought was really good. I really enjoyed it on a whole so even if you're not a huge fan of memoirs if you still if you want to read a memoir that reads like fiction I would say this was it so I give this one four stars and like always all of the books that I have mentioned in this video they will be linked in the description box below with their Amazon link and then also the link to my review on Chocolate Plus. Alright, so those are all the books that I read and reviewed in the month of January. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing the books that I have read and reviewed. I feel like I had a lot this month and a lot of five stars, which is always a good feeling. But please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe before you go. Check the description box for all the information on the books that I featured in this video. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!